Hi, I'm Emily Bradard and I'm a flutist. And today I'll be uh, sharing some of the tips I got during the years that helped me make uh, flute playing easier. So we're going to talk about posture for this video. First thing, the flute is called, in, in French, is called flute traversière, which means a uh, sideway flute. So many people make this mistake of playing the flute on a straight line. So they go like this with their head perfectly straight and they bring their flute in a straight line with their body. The problem with that is that it stretches your left shoulder and it makes your right arm stuck. You don't have much space and the embouchure is not in a good alignment so the sound is not so good. The way to do it will be to uh, bring your left foot in line with your stand. So if my stand is there, my left foot is facing the stand and my right foot will go 45 degree angle on the right. So I'm like this. This way my body is not towards the stand but in angle. And then my head turns left towards the stand and I bring my flute to my head. Be very careful not to bring your head to your flute because then you'll misalign your head. The head is very heavy. It's as heavy as a mass. If it's not in line with your, with your shoulders, it can stress these muscles quite a bit and you'll have big problems. So this is a very common mistake to go like this and bring your head to your flute. Or if you're small and you're learning sometimes also to bring your shoulders like this and play like that. It's very, very bad. Um, try to always think for your posture, not only when you play the flute, but in general. Uh, sometimes we say sit straight or stand straight. It's not about being straight, it's about being in line, being comfortable with your body. So I would say try to feel as wide as possible here with your shoulders and as long as possible from like for your whole spine up to your head. By thinking about being wide and long, taking the most space, you will feel in line. So back to the posture. I go like this, turn a bit on my right, bring my head on my left, bring my flute to my mouth. Now, the next point, the sustaining point on the flute. So here is one of the sustaining point of the flute that is my lower lip and upper chin here. Then I have my left index finger just here that will go under the second key where I put my finger there. Then I have my little finger that's very often on that key and my thumb. The left, thing, the left arm is usually okay because um, there's always less problems with that. If you have a problem with your left arm, usually if you have a, you can get an offset G that might help with the, so you don't have to reach. The right arm is usually more of a problem. So in some books, they say to uh, put your thumb under the flute like that to push it up. And they say to put it between those two keys just here on that, that little trill key, here under. Personally, for me, it doesn't work. It makes it very, very awkward, and it's, uh, it makes my hand all uh, uncomfortable. What I discovered through the years, and I would advise you to look at your arm, look at your, your hand, and really study how to put your fingers that fits with your hand. In my case, I have a very short little finger compared to my other fingers, so the way I found is to put my thumb a bit more on the on this side of the flute, not under, but pushing forward instead. And I don't put it be under I don't put it under this key, but I put it a bit closer to my body. Here, a bit more left. This way, instead of thinking of pulling my pushing my flute 
up, I think about locking my flute. So my right arm goes forward and my left arm moves towards my body. This way those two forces go against each other and lock it in place like this. And I don't have to think going up. This way also I don't think going up with my shoulders. I just think going like that. Be careful with your shoulders. A lot of people tend to push their shoulders up. That's not very good. It creates tensions. But also a lot of teachers tend to tell their students don't pull your shoulders up when they don't even do it which creates other problems because you'll have a tendency then to pull your shoulders down. Always try to look at yourself in the mirror and try to figure out if you're really doing something wrong before you correct anything because you don't want to make it worse. So here's an exercise that you can do on the wall to make sure that your head doesn't go forward like this when you're playing. So you simply put your back against the wall. You have to unlock your knees, bend them a little bit. You put your head like that. And then you leave your head against the wall. You make sure it's still in contact with it. You turn your left, your head to the left, and you bring your flute. And then you play. You can do long notes or whatever. And try to remember the feeling of your head in line. This way, when you play, you'll try to keep it the same way. Feel the same thing. So flutists don't always play standing. In fact, we play sitting down very often in orchestra, chamber music. Uh, so I'll be demonstrating how to play sitting down. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, the other day a clarinetist asked me in the orchestra why the flutists always put their chairs on the side. So here it is. If you are, if my stand was here in front of me and I was to put my knees facing my stand, I would be like that if I had the correct uh, posture. And if I don't, I would be like this, but then I would have the same problem that I explained earlier with my left arm being stretched and my right arm being, being stuck. So I will take my knees, put them to the right, and then bring my body is facing the right at a 45 degree angle with my stand. Then I bring my head to the left and I bring my flute to my head. Always bring your flute to your head. I can never say it enough because it's a very common thing to go like this and bring your body forward. So that's it for posture. I hope it was helpful for you. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave it uh, where you should leave it. Thanks. Thank you very much. Click here for more videos and playlists.